On the next Escapetrix, when fathers give their daughters bad relationship advice. You can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. What's up, everyone? This is your man, Escapetrix. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you'll know what's going down on Escapetrix and don't forget we're on all social media relevant social media platforms well twitter right now i got banned i don't even know what i got banned for on twitter we're gonna have to find out and appeal that at this point so no twitter but everywhere else we are there and uh we'll we'll try to stay there we're still struggling to stay on tiktok all right now today we're talking about fathers who give their daughters bad relationship advice there ain't nothing worse than uh, a father giving his um, daughter some advice that's detrimental to her um, long-term well-being. Now, as a father of two young ladies who stay under my roof, you always want to try to give them the most sound advice, make them confident in themselves, and make them um, aware, self-aware of how the world actually works and what's going down. We don't have that all the time in society, especially here in Western civilization. So today we're going to go over to one of our homies over on TikTok, and he's going to talk about how fathers give their daughters bad advice. And then I'll show you a prime example. All right, now we're over at my man's TikTok, Armando 360 Smooth 3.0, one of the coolest brothers, one of the best philosophers in the black man space on TikTok. If you haven't checked him out, check him out now. He's responding to a woman saying that women who have father figures in their life have higher standards of dating. And he does a little bit of correction to what she's talking about. Let's go ahead and listen. Positive male figures in their life typically are harder to date because they have higher standards. Ah, sister, you were so close, but I uh, got to make some adjustments on some of the things you said. These men don't have a problem with women with standards. If anything, they seek out women with standards. The problem is that when many of these ladies grow up with fathers, sometimes those fathers fall into that simp role of overinflating these sisters' sense of ego. Yeah, that, that definitely happens. A lot of these fathers out here are pretty much sometimes simps themselves. I'm sorry to say that that is how it is. You have to be real careful when you're a father uh, with your daughters of giving her the, you're the prize uh, in a relationship, okay? There's nothing wrong with having value of yourself, but thinking that you are just to catch and all you have to do is just sit there and, and look beautiful if you're lucky enough to have that type of beauty is gonna be disaster for your daughters. Me, I have two daughters. I, I keep my daughters in the world of logic because they stay under my roof. So I don't really have to worry about that too much with with their mom. So I keep them in reality. A lot of, a lot of men have already been raised by uh, single moms in houses that are uh, matriarchal and they spew that same matriarchal viewpoint that they've lived under, under to, to their kids. I guess because they were lucky enough to find someone to to actually marry them because they liked what they were talking about with the, the matriarchal politics that they have. One of the biggest uh, people in this world, one of the biggest stars in this world, loved by women all in America, is Steve Harvey. And he's one of the biggest father simps you will ever find. And right now we're going to look at Lori Harvey and why she thinks that she's the prize and she can pretty much do whatever she wants to. This lady, she stopped going with Michael B. Jordan, one of the top of the top of the top 1% guys. So let's check out her mindset and the mindset of women who follow her. Remember that you're the prize always. Say that Think one that. more time. Just remember <laughs> that you are the prize. Yes. You That's are the like prize. It's golden slogan for me. Yeah. And so. what is that? And here we go with it again. The same parrot talk. It's advice they've given you. 
Mm. Just remember that you're the prize at all times. Boom. Best advice. <laughs> You'll hear it over and over again out of her mouth now. Because cause dad said it, so it must be gospel. You have got to remember the key. You are the prize. You're the, you're the ticket. Women, women are the ticket. Because, you know, he's, he's so rich, he's so famous that he knows everything about uh, men and women relationships. He knows how to get that money from women. He's, he's about as good as uh, a, a reverend in a church when it comes to getting money from women. He learned very, very good from Oprah. Now, let's go ahead and let's watch some of the impressionable women on TikTok. You never see guys doing this. Women love mouthing, putting music behind certain certain little things that they they love to hear, love to say. Let's let's check it out. Here's a young lady right here on TikTok, and you'll see exactly what I, I'm talking about. You see it all the time with women. Remember that you're the prize always. Say that, that one more time. Just remember <laughs> that you are the prize. Yes. Now women they hit the wall. Remember that you're the prize always. Say that, that one more time. Just remember that you are the prize. Yes! That's like his golden slogan for me. Yeah. I can keep going. I will. Just remember that you're the prize always. Say that, that one more time. Just remember that you are the prize. Yes! That's like his golden slogan for me. Yeah. I think I may have a thousand more of these as well. Let's see. Let's do one more. Here we go. The finale. That you're the prize always. Say that, that one more time. Just remember that you <laughs> are the prize. Yes, that's like his golden slogan for me. And uh, they got a saying for Lori Harvey too. Now after all this stuff, uh, in Lori Harvey, I trust that should scare a lot of you dudes. Women are always talking about who we like. Asking if they like Kevin Samuels. Asking them if they like Lori Harvey. Asking them if they like Tanya T TKO. Asking them if they like. Kendra D. G. You're probably going to want to run from these women. With fathers doing this thing, what you see here, this is really not going to help regular women. Women who are four, five, sixes, and even sevens cannot do this. They cannot talk about they are the prize all the time, especially if you're trying to run after a dude who's making eighty, ninety, a hundred thousand dollars or more, right? I mean, Armand tells you why. This won't work. Let's check it out. Let's go back to him. The primary reason why so many of you ladies keep making the same mistake is that you're looking at the relationship patterns of the rich, the famous, and possibly the most upwardly mobile men in the community. Of course, what's always lost in translation is that men like that, they're not necessarily looking to build a life with a woman. If anything, they've already built the life and they're trying to share it with that woman. Or in other words, those men don't necessarily need those women. In fact, they may see women as dispensable commodities. Nevertheless, because so many of these simp dads prioritize trying to save their daughters from their poor decisions of getting caught up with pookies and ray rays, that they never take the time to teach their daughters basic lessons about just being women and being attractive to viable men. But even so, this creates the same dilemma as single mothers with their sons, making them the son husbands, where in this case, they make their daughters the daughter wives. Yep, there you go. That's why I love this dude, man. He's he's on point. Armand 360 Smooth 3.0. You got to check him out. You, you If you have daughters like I do, you want them, like I said, you want them to be based in reality when they're getting in the dating scene. I have an 18-year-old, 14-year-old. 18-year-old's about to go to college next year. 14-year-old still in school. I, I always instill in them that they are very, very, very good catches for men, and they are. I, 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 I find myself weekly, monthly, having to try to beat off some of these young guys who want to date my daughters. But first of all, they got to come see me. I'm old school. A lot of them already are like no deal on that. They, they run away from that because they're looking for easy, easy praying victim. But my, my girls, they like guys who are actually nice, who are gentlemen, uh, my my youngest daughter, all she does is listen to K-pop, J-pop, and she's in the Dungeons and Dragons Club. So that should tell you everything about about my daughters, right? But I tell them that you are a very good catch for a guy if you're nice, sincere, 
uh, loving, caring, respectful to yourself and him and have respectful clothes. Everything else will fall into place for them. The guys that they do like, I kind of like. They're pretty good guys. Little Asian guys, little, little white guys, what, whatever. Cool little guys because I tell them to date who you like. Okay, not who other people think you should be with. Because if you don't, your daughters may end up like this lady. Stay away from those people that think it's impossible to have a fairy tale lifestyle. Like I remember there would be a certain nigga that would be like, You think life is a fairy tale, you'll never receive it. Baby with you. But somebody's gonna give me the castle, the slipper, and bitch, I might get the carriage if I act right. That tells you everything that you see right there from this lady. Selling your daughter's wolf tickets does not help her at all. You should be instilling in your daughters the value of finding a truly real good man, hardworking, smart man who is able to raise a family and treat her well. That's what we've done for hundreds of years when it comes to men-women relationship. This is just something new in the last 50 to 60 years, maybe even more, maybe 60, 70, when it comes to relationships here in the U.S. It has been proven that people that have a good family, you know, men and women together, raise positive children. They go off to school, that, that do positive things in life. You don't want your, your daughters to be single mothers. I promise you that. You don't want that. If you are a guy, protect your daughters. I, I, I did a video about uh, women twerking in restaurants and stuff like that, and a guy came in and damn near went ballistic on his sister because it probably wasn't a father around, right? But kudos to that guy. But if you're a father, you have even more authority than a brother would have. You need to use your authority, okay? You need to instill the values. If you are a man who doesn't live in the house with your kids, because that's kind of how it is by design now, you have to spend more than just two days a week with them. I know that's what the courts have ordered, but try to find other ways to see them. I saw a guy before who was court ordered to only see his kids twice a week. He went ahead and applied for security guard at his kid's school, and now he sees his kids seven days a week. You have to be like that. You have to be on your grind for your money. You have to be on your grind for your kids. Because if you're not on the ground for your daughter, she can easily grow up and end up on that pole or on OnlyFans. Now, if you like what I do here, go ahead, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well. Like I said, that helps with the algorithm here. And if you want some merch, go over to my Etsy. We got some cool merch right there, Escaping the Matrix. And we got some more stuff coming real soon as well. You can also join my Patreon. Check that out as well. And you can always send a donation donation on Cash App. Or you can hit the thanks button down below and send a little bit and say thank you, bro, for doing what you're doing. I'm going to grind out for as long as I can grind when it comes to Manosphere for all men. Not just black men, if you're watching this. All men. I'm all inclusive. And you should be too. Until then, get your passports. Raise your daughters right, raise your sons right, and then get the hell out of here if you can. Three years from me, I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.